come to another R Sendler. So in this R Sendler, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can actually send out emails from a form on your Zendler site. So what we're going to use this for is we're going to set up a standard form like this. And what I'm going to have is I'm going to actually have this tied into a marketing funnel but we're not going to enable any of the funnel steps we're purely going to use the funnel to automate emails to go out to the user that's filled in this form now by default you can on any button sign people up into a funnel series which is handy if you're using it for marketing but if you're just using it to maybe notify yourself that someone's filled the form out or that you want to send emails directly to them and you don't want to actually send them through any of the marketing funnel steps then this can be a really good solution this can be done with any form on your website that you've created yourself so any custom form and it's really easy to do so I've got this form set up here so I'm going to log into here and I'm going to show you how to do it it's really easy guys so let's get on right so I'm in the admin of the site I'm going to go to marketing funnels and I'm going to create a funnel now it really doesn't matter which funnel I use because we're not actually using any of the steps or videos so I'm going to start with a lead magnet as it's the most simple so I'm going to go to next and now we're going to name this and we're going to go this responder okay now no one will see this this is going to be a form responder so that's what I'm going to call it and I've got my term for what I'm doing now I call it a trigger funnel that's all I'm calling it so I'm just going to call it form responder in there and I'm going to click next now it really doesn't matter which of these you pick either because we're not going to be using any of the funnel steps in this so we're just going to click finish now and it's going to set up our funnel steps and to show you that we're not actually using any of the funnel steps I'm actually going to delete them out so this is to prove to you that we don't use any of the funnel steps inside of here at all so underneath our automations this is the part that we're interested in because this is where we're going to be sending emails out so when someone fills that form in I'm going to get them to send an email out to them and it's going to say something like thanks for signing up you know and that's all I'm going to put so you can capture as you've already captured their first name you can use a little bit of personalization in here so I'm going to go down to the bottom and I'm just going to delete out all of this and I'm going to put dear and then I'm going to use a personalization in here I'm just going to choose the full name here or you can choose first name or last name if you put that into the field but I just want to choose full name here so now I've done that I'm going to now put inside here thank you for signing up to good doggy and we will be in touch or whatever you want to put in here soon and then good doggy team okay so that's all I'm putting for this one now I'm going to put some personalization in here and then I'm going to put four and then I'm going to choose the email address for personalization well actually I'm going to choose the full name okay so that's going to be that and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say that after so delay zero zero from subscription or form sign up it's going to fire this email off so at the same time do I want to apply it to existing leads yes if you've got existing leads in there or no if you don't want to it's up to you I've got nobody in there so I'm going to click yes now I don't want this send me an email later you can send Send this email so you could set up a whole sequence to send um, days in advance if you wanted to you could set up multiple ones of these now, I'm going to delete these out because I really don't need uh, these ones in here but what I do want to do is I do want to send a notification to myself so I'm going to go down to add action and I'm going to click notify admin so now I'm going to have this email come up and it's going to send a notification email to me because I've selected myself in there and we're going to call this uh, notify form sent on your site this is just a label okay so I'm gonna put copy this actually I'm gonna put it in here and then I can go and put the details inside here so it's got mail content hi David new user signed up and then name and under personalization I can put their full I can actually put lots of details in here so I'm going to go um, 
email that's all I need really for this and this will give me the person that signed up so I've got their email which is here and I'm going to put that in there at end of notice so you're going to receive this nobody else is okay so that's all I need to do so I just need to turn that on so that's going to fire out generally what I like to do here is I like to do it like a minute later just so the first email fires off and then this one fires off afterwards that's just how I do it you don't have to you could have it on zero if you wanted to so now all I need to do is I need to just save those changes and I'm actually going to turn it on now so both of these are live so we now have this funnel remember we've got no steps in this funnel we're purely using the automations so if I go into marketing funnels now we've got this one here form responder okay this is really important that it's that you understand this properly so it's form responder this is what we're using for the form so now we're going to go into the site and we're going to edit that page so I've got a form here you can see I've got a form set up so I'm going to go into the gear icon for the form and I'm going to go down to here and I've tagged them coming in but you don't have to so I can remove that tag um, I've also got add them to an email list I'm going to turn that off as well and what I'm going to do here is add them to a funnel so I need to refresh this page because I, the funnel is not showing as I preloaded this page before I created the funnel so I'm just refreshing the page now and then I can go and set this up to the funnel so once that's done it will work and they'll be added into a funnel so that's good that's all completed okay so let's go and set this up now so I'm going to go into the settings for this and we're going to go to funnel and now I'm going to click that form responder remember if you've got multiple forms funnels in here then they're going to show up so I'm just checking the one that I want which is the form responder and I'm going to click save now we can test this out and make sure that the email is going to be received so that is all I need to do I just now need to go to the web page and test that this all works you should always test everything you're doing inside Zenla before you commit to actually making it live and putting it out there for the world to see so here we go so I'm going to put my name and email address in here okay now I've done that I'm going to click sign up for launch so they won't see anything now but they will be sent an email so we're going to check my emails one for my creative services email account and one for my David at Zenla which will be my notify admin that's gone out let's check that now and now I'm in the notify admin this is my admin email account you can see here form responder notify notify form sent on your site so here we go so inside here um, inside here you can see I've got the name of the person and I've got the email address sent to me via notification so the user themselves have received that other email so we've done one extra step than uh, we need to because we're actually sending an email out to them as well and we're sending a notification email so I'm going to jump into the uh, Gmail uh, account associated with this we're going to look at the email that they received and here we go we can see the email that they've received so here's John Jones signing up so this is what thank you for signing up for good doggy we'll be in touch shortly good doggy team so there we go we've shown how you can actually send out emails and actually get their engagement it's a really good thing to do because you're keeping in touch with that person and you're also getting notified of that person filling out that form as well of course you can go into your admin side of the site and you can also look at when people have signed up and if you tag them you can see what form they've joined from but if you need to have an email sent to you so it's popping up on your phone or your device while you're out and about then you can do that as well now remember if someone buys a course or any of those things you are notified automatically but this is a way of automatically you setting up way a way for you to set up your own automations with forms that are coming in so that is a, how we can set up a, what I call a trigger funnel um, for forms inside of your Zenla site